happened. The That's majority what I of my clients, the competitive ones, mm -hmm. have a nutrition coach on the side. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because I I know, you know, yeah. nutrition is very is very simple, really, isn't it? Ish. Ish. <laughs> yeah. If, if, you know, if, yeah. It is. It, it really is. is. It, it is really simple. Is. Yeah, you can it, do it with a calculator. Really but again, is. it's getting the optimal. Yeah, yeah the it, optimal. It's, it's simple in regard to, you know, balanced diet, mm. sort of calories in, calories out. Yeah. But when you're talking about competing yeah. and maximizing yes. and optimizing your competing and things like energy availability and everything else, that's where it gets complex. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, they have a nutrition coach on, on the side because yeah. that's not my specialty. I'll get you strong. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I always... You know, I'm never afraid to say, oh, I, I, I don't know everything. Yeah. If I don't know something, I'll ask. Yeah, it's fantastic because you hear so many people talk out of their wheel wheelhouse and talk about stuff they ain't got a clue about. I'll ask. You I've know? got uh, the, the most I've learned is from my coaches, mm -hmm. you know, and my coaches from their coaches. Yeah. And, and that's it. And if you don't yeah. know something, you ask. Yeah, I think you, you learn a lot, especially as a PT. And a, yeah. Uh, and as a coach, you learn a lot from people around you. I found even when I've worked with people, you learn a lot from your peers and, and yeah. even even like coaches yourself. Yeah. You know, I've yeah. had a coach before and I learned a lot off of them. And again, it's it's just passing down that knowledge, yeah. isn't it, at times? Yeah. Yeah. And then what I tend to like to do is back that up with some of my own reading and yes. making sure that yeah. what they're telling me is not fucking bullshit. Yes. Because yeah. Yeah. again, you can get that a lot. You can get the old school ways. This is how yes. we yes. did it. Yes. And yes. this is how we lost weight. You know, I got told, you know, don't eat carbs after 12. <laughs> don't eat after six. You know, I've had all that sort of bullshit and I still hear it now. Yeah. yeah. And the science doesn't back it up. Yeah. So again, it's one of those things where you, you, you take the information on board and some of it's perfect. Some yeah. of it's like, yeah, that's right. But then you've got to discard some of it and work through the shit. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. I think it's it's it's. I think there's a few things that you can attribute to that. I think it is almost like you know, sort of just watering down the information. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they go through enough different people, and it's in the end of looking very different to <laughs> yeah. where it started. Yes, yes, yes. And the other thing, of course, is science moves on. So yeah. the, the you know what was what was effective or the most effective idea or, or best practice, you know, two three years ago mm -hmm. is it may be very different now as science moves yeah. on. So. Yeah, yeah. I think it's 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 really good that you do that. And I think it's, 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 it's very important. If if you got a coach and and you ask a question, and you know uh, he doesn't know how to reply, but he's trying to like you know make their way get a different coach. Yeah, uh, but much better to say oh, I don't know actually. Let me just let me just find out. Yeah. I think you got to research stuff yourself yeah. as a as a PT yeah. as a coach yeah. as a thing. You got you know you got to spend some time sometimes. If yeah. I get asked a good question by a client. And I don't quite know. I'm like, you know what? I actually don't know. Yeah. Mm. But I'll go and find out. But then that I'm I'm researching that and learning yeah. that. Yeah. And then when I go back to them and I know it, yeah. then the next person that asks me, I know it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That's it. And, and people can smell bullshit as well. Yeah. yeah people don't yeah. mind vulnerability. They don't like fucking liars. And people can they, normally tell. Yeah. We, we, yeah 100%. We, with strength coaching, you know, like the most important thing is experience and track record. I think that, you know, that's the most important thing. Communication is huge as well. And communication comes in the same same place as, yeah, if your client says, hey, what do you think about this? Why is this like this? And you just don't know. Just say, hey, I'm not sure. Mm. Let me ask. I've got, I got so many people that I can ask. Yeah. So many people. My yeah. coach, my ex-coach, you know, this guy, this guy, you know. Use, use you know, the other people because yeah. they will come to you as well. Yeah. I, I think that the fact that you have, you know, sort of almost like a multidisciplinary team for your clients is it says a lot about you as a coach, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's absolutely the right thing to do if you're not a, an expert in a particular area. And I think we've just kind of chatted about it. But yeah, I think so many other coaches and PTs will try and do everything yeah. when they really shouldn't be. No. So yeah. The, the thing I, that winds me up the most with it is re rehabilitation stuff. Yeah. Oh, wait, so, well, that's, that's my bag, mate. Don't get me so, started. So you get like a PT and they've like hurt their back and they'll come in and go, yeah, you know, I've, you I, I know, I've, you know, there fucking you sort your there back you out. And I'm like, send them to a physio, mate. Yeah. I've got, you know, if, if I've got like a client that's, I don't know, got a bit of a sciatica problem, yeah. you know, I'll, 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 I know stretches, yeah. you know, to, yeah. to alleviate that yeah. possibly. But if they're still got it, you know, two weeks later, like yeah. one of my clients, he had a, he ended up having a slip disc yeah. and he'd done it gardening. And that went on for a couple of, you know, a couple of months and he wasn't quite, you know, it wasn't going away, you know, a bit of a dull ache. I said to him, you've got to go and see a doctor. Yeah. You've got to go. He, yeah. he had vitality. Go see a private doctor. Yeah. He yeah. went and got it. He's ended up getting a cortisone and it's gone. Yeah. Whereas some PTs, I'm pretty sure, would have said, let's not worry about that. Let's keep, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and they oh, would, wouldn't oh, they? Let me rehab your Let me rehab. <laughs> yeah. It's not fucking happening. Yeah. Uh, I've, yeah. I've got someone really, really good. 
amazing really that I sent all my powerlifters to. Um, can I say a name? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Plug them. Plug them. Um, her name is Brooke. Um, injury walk-in clinic. Mm -hmm. uh, she's based in here. She, uh, she, she yeah, she, she go flow. Yeah, she does. Yeah, 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 yeah Brooke's yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, she, yeah. She's lovely. So girl. I sent every single competitor to her. Every single mm. one. She and really knows her stuff as well, don't she? And in powerlifting, we, we get hurt. Yeah. I'm mm. seeing her tomorrow anyways, but yeah. uh, we, we get hurt. So um, she's the one that I send all my clients mm. to. Yeah. And they just come back and just... Pew, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you got to refer me. Tip top. You yeah, know, if you're in the Plymouth area, hit, hit her up. Yeah, she's yeah. amazing. You know, Have a team, you know, have a team, you know. Yeah. Uh, physios, nutritionist, strength coach. It's yeah. the best you can do. <laughs>